We'll back it out and see if it does this all thing. See if it runs and moves with the, uh, the preheater off. That'll be nice. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. I could take the hood off, but uh, that's work. I put this on here because it wouldn't move when it was cold. I've changed the carburetor twice since. I don't know what. I don't know why. This is what it is, I guess. That's greasy. So what I did here, if you can see it, I can't get you any closer. Tubes go over to the intake, over to the carburetor, but they suck up. Put some holes in the bottom so that the air comes in from the sides past this hot exhaust up into the tubes and over. We're going to try it without. This was my last ditch effort. Pretty much the night before I had to leave to go to Indiana to show the car off. I had to put a a little bit of a leather belt in here so it would fit on the other carburetor. I don't know about this one yet. Tell me I gotta redo this? Come on now. Come on now. Maybe if I loosen it up, it'll go down more. Okay. It feels like it's in there. All right, we'll try that. <clears> the <throat> thing I want to do is I want to put that talked about it in the other videos put that steering brace on I got a piece of metal here I just need to cut it off to the right length and drill a hole let me mark that and we'll get to it it's gonna be a short video that's how close we were it's gotta be my hole that's where I'm going to cut it off. I could actually leave that on there. Save myself some trouble. Nobody's going to see it. So let's do that. Let's just drill a hole. Go with the little one first. steps. Still moving a little bit. Maybe I need to tighten up my steering box bolts too. 
you can see that or not. I'm going to put you down. I'm going to turn the wheel. Just a little bit of play in there and I don't like it. Didn't feel good on the road. So maybe I'll tighten up this bolt here. Guess what? Uh, that might be 9 sixteenths. Happens when you're working on custom stuff. Oops, sorry. Working on custom stuff, you gotta make adjustments. That is that is also not the right size. Get my fat hands in here. I don't know how much how good a video this is gonna be. See if that changed it any. Still got a little bit of motion. No, it's got to be better than it was. Got to be better than it was. I still don't like it. Let me just stiffen that up. Well, I'm going to have to wait until I get somebody else to rock the wheel for me and find out where that motion's coming from because I don't like it. Man, I can't reach the wheel and look down there at the same time. Alright, so, um, yeah, I guess that's going to be, be it for this one. We'll back it out and see if it does this all thing. See if it runs and moves with the, uh, the preheater off. That would be nice. Well, it's running. No preheater. Gotta do something about that exhaust. Whoop. It is running. So that's good. Right, let's get on with the, the next thing on the agenda. I figured I'd end the video with uh, an interesting problem that developed when I backed it out. Uh, I wouldn't start. It's spare here, it's just round, round, round. Just engine cranking over. Wouldn't start. So I pulled the plug, figured, figured I flooded it. Nope. I'm like the only thing I changed today was this. So I got my wrench out and I lifted this up, and when I lifted it, I heard click. I had pushed it down and apparently this was touching the choke butterfly. So I raised it up. Hopefully that's the end of the problem. But uh, I'm really tempted to run it without a filter at all. Never had one when it was new. And that ain't dirt. So I think I'll be alright. But I'll try it. So far, I mean, after I got it running, it, uh, it moved. It moved cold and that was that's huge so here's how that worked out I think one of these days I'm gonna hook that spark that uh, gas lever back up I need to put something on here to give it the the twisties get the lawnmower in anyway this is gonna be its own video I'm not sure when it's going to come out depends on how long it takes me to fix it. Uh, this is the only machine I have to mow the lawn. So I am slightly motivated. You can see that. You can see the problem right there. That, uh, that pulley right there is 
we're in for the night we're done this is going to be this is saturday so this will probably be my monday video you're probably watching on monday and um thanks for watching i appreciate the support